The inspiration for my work can come from an everyday kind of object or experience. Um, it could be something like how someone holds an object or the kind of process that's happening within um, a cycle or a machine. And then other times my pieces have come from site-specific inspiration. So if I'm pitching for a commission or something for a specific site, I'll research the site. And that actually, one of the pieces I built here was based on a prison. It can, it can be really in-depth research, or it can just be kind of a manic, uh, something I want to build really quick, and it's a crazy kind of, I just want something that's going to squirt all this stuff out. And I, I normally research a machine or like a way to build that. I think the ceramic work is, informs um, my other ways of working. Um, so I work with slip cast ceramic squares, triangles, four-sided, five-sided pieces that maybe represent multi-dimensional universes or this kind of a want to exist here or possibly exist somewhere else. Um, these objects are slip cast and then post-production wise they're cut and assembled and, and that's kind of where it gets interesting. There's that stiff form of geometry but then the spontaneity is, 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 is the important element and that happens at the end. Having a background in jewellery, the way that you have to work, it's making a really polished, finished piece that someone wants to wear. Um, so it has to be seamless and um, beautiful. So I think from that I've taken into my work that sort of, when it comes to the final piece, um, I am quite precise with how I um, make it, even though there's been like the journey there has been quite playful when it comes to making it because I have a jewellery background the work is sort of um, quite delicate in a way but still with that fun element when when I'm working with the metal then I've, I've, I've initially done quite a lot of sketches and um, then I'm kind of translating that with, into the metal but again, th that process changes as l along the way as I'm working through things. So it's a bit like um, kind of taking a, a, a train of thought and then working with the material, but at the same time that, tr that material might change along the way. It's sort of a journey till you, till you get to the finished result.